All right, welcome back. And for the end of our show, we're so excited to introduce our guest, Dan McCourt. Dan will be filming a stand-up special to submit to Netflix this Friday, February 14th. Valentine's the Day. The show is at 8 p.m. in the Goldstein Auditorium, and it's free for students, so go check it out. Everyone, please give it up for Dan. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Give it up for Studio B coming back. That's great. They... Studio B, I'm happy to be here. They're so much less pretentious than Studio A. <laughs> um, I realize I apologize for looking like the continuing education student, but uh, <laughs> I made poor decisions in my life, so I'm back here. Uh, did anybody else find it ironic that uh, the kid was choking on a lifesaver? <laughs> Seems ironic to me. And for uh, the virgin in the pink shirt, just some advice. <laughs> uh, everybody plays hard to get if you're ugly enough, honestly. <laughs> it's not you, I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. Look, find a good woman. A good woman is like a pair of sneakers, supportive until you wear down their soul. Um, <laughs> So, I don't know, what are girls looking for? A guy that looks good on a two-inch screen. What are guys looking for? Any girl that doesn't need penicillin, basically. <laughs> That's what dating is. And sex with me is like dialysis. You're gonna feel a small prick and you probably have a disease. I think <laughs> those words are all safe. I don't normally do live TV. So since we're on Studio B, I'll give you a bunch of B one-liners that I do. When I assault you on Christmas, the battery's not included. <laughs> Donkey milk tastes like ass. <laughs> if there really is an opioid epidemic, why do I still have money in my wallet? I mean, honestly, how many people need to die for me to enjoy myself? Okay. <laughs> Now, I for, forgot what I wanted to say about Alzheimer's. Um, <laughs> I think the best thing about baseball is its absence from my life. <laughs> a menage a trois is a threesome for pretentious people. <laughs> I've never had sex on an airplane, despite the fact that most of my relationships have been turbulent. My health insurance is so good, I took up smoking. <laughs> it's a true story. They won't allow it on campus, though. Um, here's one you can use uh, if you're ever bored. I would agree with you, but I wasn't listening. <laughs> so they say dance like nobody's watching, but I do other things when nobody's watching. So. <laughs> Anyway, here's a complicated one. One out of two people is called giving birth. <laughs> if at first you don't succeed, try, try a gun. Uh, <laughs> any pharmacist that can't count has a pill problem. I've never done... <laughs> I've never done live TV. Is it annoying if I just tap the, the mic for the rest of the night? If I just do that, does it make it? All right. So uh, <laughs> Ray Charles never saw a doctor. I, uh, <laughs> I don't have attention deficit disorder, so I'd appreciate it if you'd remind me how I started this sentence. <laughs> OK. Anyway, I wanted to say a couple other things. I love Syracuse. Uh, I grew up here. It's my favorite city. If you go to Wikipedia, it's very informative. It's a second, sense, a second sentence, honestly. Syracuse is the largest US city with the name Syracuse. <laughs> a literate person wrote that. I want to finish the article in that language. Like Syracuse is located alphabetically just outside of Sacramento. Our, our oldest known resident is born before tomorrow. Local pastimes do not include writing. So uh, 
I don't know, Syracuse, I would vote it the nicest US city where I still feel comfortable littering. You know what I mean? <laughs> Just flick a cigarette butt. Dude, what are you doing? What, are we in Baltimore now? It's Syracuse. <laughs> Relax. So, uh, let's see if I could squeeze this in. I was in a bad part of Syracuse, which doesn't really narrow it down. Uh, <laughs> And uh, South Solana Street, I saw a guy firing a handgun through an intersection and a police uh, or a pizza delivery guy. And I didn't know what to do, so I just drove through the crossfire like a really aggressive car wash. And I stopped at the next corner, there was a bouncer. I was like, there's a guy in the next corner shooting people. He's like, well, what do you want me to do about it? I was like, he's coming this way? <laughs> He's like, well what, well, what does he look like? I was like, he'll be the one shooting people. <laughs> That's an actual conversation. I couldn't even add less concern, even in a like 1981 Brooklyn, like, hey, there's a guy in the next corner shooting people. Yeah, that's Sally, he shoots people. We make calzones. That's what we're doing on this corner. You want a calzone or you want to get shot? Calzone, I guess. I All right, that's my time. Thanks, Studio B. Come out next Friday, February 14th, for my special live on Thin Ice. I'm Dan McCord. Thanks a lot.